Hey everyone, and welcome back to another game of Catan. I'm The Wanderer, and today we are playing another ranked game, hoping to follow on our success from the last one and keep pushing that ranking up. And we have the first pick today, so it looks like a nice board for the first pick. So immediately I'm drawn to this 956. Uh, there's not that much good wheat on the board, and I think we'd like to jump on that 9 spot, and a 956 is just always good production. Just before I do it, I'll just have a look around. Uh, this 8510 is not bad to the ore port. 693 isn't too bad, but I like the fact that this goes up to the 3 for 1 here on the 12, because a lot of people aren't going to want to potentially build on that. So I think it's a safe or safer bet to build on the 956 and point right here. I think it's going to be okay. So I think black now potentially goes something like 8-10-4, 8-5-10. They're probably the two main picks. I'd probably say he goes 8-10-4 because of the stronger wheat. Ooh. Does go on the 8-10-5 for that higher production. I think he had the same thought as me that this 3-for-1 port would probably get left open because it's the 2s down here, like the 12 up here. So I think blue has to take this 8-10-4. I don't think... I think he'll get ore on the way back, so I think this is definitely the best spot for him. Ooh, interesting. Blue takes the 834. I guess he's worried about the low wood production, and I suppose he still gets on some wheat here. Points the road right. So that leaves Orange with a pretty. Oh, Orange has a stack set up. This 693 and then 8104. That's pretty stacked. Yep, 693. Points up, which is interesting. Probably hoping this 4911 or the 834. Nah, but he's going to build on this 8-10-4, surely. Yeah. I don't know about pointing up. I guess he's hoping that this gets left. Or maybe connect road. But I think pointing down here would have been better. Because that brick port's valuable with the 9. And that Wii port even is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, he points that right as well. Okay. Interesting. Don't know about those road placements. Blue jumps in on this 6-11-3. Ops to forego sheep. So we'll probably point in in hopes of racing orange for this. Or maybe down, but I think you'll point left. No, nope. goes without sheep entirely. Interesting. So that leaves black needing wheat and sheep. Definitely takes this 5, 4, 11. Which is a little bit frustrating because then it means we're going to be without wood. Oh, he does take the 4, 9, 11. Interesting. I guess for the free road means he can go out here and beat orange. So, I think... Question. This is this is the play. I think we have to build on the nine ten two. And but we we're gonna have to try and race black. But he's just got insane wood and brick production. So I to get on this wood. So I don't think that's the right play. I'm um, trying to look at. That. I mean, that there's a free road, but it's just a waste of a spot. I think I like the extra ore and on good brick. Do we point left and get down here? Because this wheat port is is pretty good. It's just hard without the wood. But we do have. Good dev card production. So are there any other spots before I place? Yeah, I don't really like any of these other spots. Yeah, I think we have to go 9-10-2. And we'll point down to the left because black will beat us in this race every day of the week. Alright. And a 5 to start. It's good. Black has... Free road plus some more wood in hand. So I think you'll drop that first road to beat orange. And another ore. So yes, he black set up. I think is very strong. Getting out to this 8-3. Uh, and then on the brick port. And the 8s and 9s. Black has a crazy setup. Orange pops a dev immediately. And we roll a 6. Alright, now can we get a wheat or a wood here? Let's go sheep for wheat. Or we'll go ore for wood. Or even brick for wheat. I like any of these potential trades. Uh, sheep for wood. Oh, that's kind of tempting. Gives us the road. I just don't want to trade with black. Black's too strong. Because black currently has no access to sheep. I'm, I'm not going to give him that. I'm happy to pop a deb if no one takes a trade. Blue's not responding. All right, I'm going to pop the dev with the knight. That's fine. We can steal some wood. There's a bit around if that four hits. Three rolls. 
Black gets another road out to the brick port. And the five hits. Alright, so Black has a wood. And, wow, Blue City's early game. Interesting. That six is going to be really blockable. Orange rolls a 12, can't do anything. See, Orange's game is off to a bad start. Great select, great like spots, but silly road placements, I think. I mean, this is a good expansion spot, but that was just, I think that was silly. All right. And we hit a six. Okay, can we get either a wheat or a wood? Or for wheat. Brick for wood. Or even all for wood. Black takes all for wood. Do we want to give that to black? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I kind of need it. I have to do it for some card control. Uh, yeah, otherwise it's just I'm going to get stuck. So I think, I think we drop the road down here to the six. Because getting on these joint sixes would be big. Because no one's racing us for this port up here. So we've got plenty of time. Uh, yeah, I think we drop that down here. And then we can pass. And then the nine hits, that's big. Okay. So I'm going to avoid giving Black any sheep. Definitely not. I'm hoping no one's silly enough to give him that port for, for nothing. Yep, he passes. There's the four. Okay, so Black's got a bit of wood. I'm tempted to play an aggressive robber next turn. Uh, I know it's early game and no one's blocked anyone, but I think Black's got quite a few cards. We could get a trade. Uh, who else got wood? Ah, uh, see, uh, orange settled, so his wood's gone. So, blue does have wood. Alright, no seven. Oh, six again. Okay. We'd give up all for wheat or all for wood here, I think. We'd also give up brick for wood. And brick for wheat. Otherwise, we may be forced into... Po oh, okay. He takes... Blue takes brick for wood. Happy to trade. I know he's got a city, but he is on an eight brick. So, I think that allows us to settle down here on the six, two. I think we want to do that. Just get on that six. And... I think now we pass. I'm assuming... Hopefully, orange doesn't have a mono. As black rolls an eight. So, squares to block for black... Uh, for us, uh, just this 8. This 8 and the 10 all day. Oh, no, the 10's us. So this 8 all day. Not giving Black any sheep. If he wants that port, he's got a 4 for 1. Black drops to drop the road down to the 3 for 1 port instead. Just a bit of card control. And the 9 hits. 9's great for us. Blue gets another city. This 8 needs to be blocked. Ooh, blue going down that all port too could be a bit dangerous. As orange rolls a sev uh, seven, first seven. Surely this goes on the eight, I think. He'll want to block black for plowing him at the start. Yeah, hopefully steals from black. Blue is dangerous for two cities, but yeah, he steals from black. I'm happy to keep the knight in the pocket for the moment. And I really want a city. Orange builds a road. All right, come on, nine. Ah, 12. All right, we'll go all for wheat. I'd also do brick for wheat. Now, okay, I'm thinking I'm going to just pop a dev here. Ooh, row building's great. Okay, happy with that. So I think potential row building or strats for us as the eight rolls. Uh, row building to the wheat port or dropping one here and one here because I think getting on this six here is a good way to, one, get on a ton of ore but then also stop uh, blue getting ore port and getting on the six twice. All right, keep the rubber where it is for now, I think. Four, okay, Everyone's got wood. Uh, I want to get wood from orange. What's he going to give up? No way I'm giving black two cards. If not, we may have to hold. Just because if I get the wood, I can't really do anything with it until I have the wheat. No, nah, definitely not. Do I give... I'll give black sheep for wood and wheat. I don't know if he has wheat. No, nah, okay. I think we hold. I'm liking the... There's the wheat. Perfect. Okay. 
So I'm liking, we're on eight cards, which is scary, so I'm not liking that, but I'm, I'm liking the road, road building there and there. Uh, and then getting on this. Ooh, Black's going for this port. Can he plow? Oh, he can't, but Blue won't be able to settle. Oh, this is a race. Here we go. Lots of wood out there. We might be able to get a trade out of one of these two now. Orange holds on 12 cards. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, that's big. Okay, so everyone's got ore, right? There's a ton of ore out there. Oh, okay, worst case, we can four for one. Um, can we get ore for wheat? Ore for wood? I don't think so. Maybe ore for wood? Sheep for wood is good, but it gives black that spot. Do we think the, the ore ports... Actually, you know what? I, I'm going to do it. Because he's racing here, and I don't care if he gets the ore port. I'm scared if blue gets it. Okay, we have the wood. So now I'm going to play the road building. I'm going to go road here, road here. And then I'm going to settle on the 6, 11, 12. That's big. Okay, and... Do I want a 4 for 1 my ore, just in case we... Yeah, just in case. 4 for 1, what do we want a 4 for 1 for? Probably a wood. And then we hold. Yeah, okay, I like that. Good turn. That's the 8 block. That's solid. Black beats... I know it gives blacks a settlement, right? But blue was just looking dangerous on those 3s, and then the 6, and then the ore port. So I think we've we've really slowed blue down now. Blue, four for one is wheat for a brick. And holds on seven cards. Orange is on 15 cards. And the 11 hits. See, I don't know what... So orange... Oh, this could be big. Can Orange settle? I'd like... If he wants a trade, I'll, I'll give it to him. Just because that brick port isn't that good for him. And it really stops black. Yep. Four for ones for the brick. Four for ones for a wheat. And settles on the brick port. Okay, that's good. Black can still get his sheep out here, but that was that was big. Five rolls. Uh, I don't think we can, but can we get a wheat? I'll go all for wheat or wood for wheat here. I don't think anyone has it, to be honest, but it's worth asking. Blue. Uh, I don't really want to do that. It does get me the three for one port, though. I'm going to do it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments for that one. Blue has great ore production, so he can't city either, so that has to be for a dev. I suppose if he could settle and city, but that would be like perfect cards. That eight block has been hurting black real bad. Seven, come on. That eight block. Oh, I'd be furious. Ooh, gets the awful sheep off with orange. Interesting. Gets the settlement and probably can pop a dev. Nah, just use the ore as trade. Ooh, 12. Love that. All right, so we can't expand anymore without sitting first. So oh, the 12 hit twice in a row. <laughs> um, this is... See, I'm confused here what to do because this means do we make a road play? I mean, I can't actually tr get another... Like, I can build one road, but what's the best expansion? Do we go out to this sheep port or we get up on the nine wheat? Do we even build a road? I think I hold. I know it's five cards, but I think we hold... Uh, I swear every time I say something, Colonist just absolutely contradicts me in the worst way possible. Maybe that's my own damn fault. Black drops another road out. It's got to be a seven coming soon. I can feel it. Oh, the nines. The nines are so big. Blue only has five cards. Has to pass. Oh, the fours. All we need is a sheep. Orange drops a road. Can he settle? No. No seven. Oh, 11. Can we road, road, settle? I think we can. Yeah. Oh, we can't. <laughs> silly me. We've already used our five settlements. That would have been silly. Okay, so what can we do here? We can get... We can pop two roads down. Maybe road, road here. We can dev, but I don't like that right now. I like going up and around, because then it means the road can extend this way. Yeah, I'm going to go this way, I think. Up and up. And then, I can actually, I can dev as well. I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to three for one, and I'm going to three for one for an ore and a wheat. 
Oh, we're in sheep, sorry. And then we're going to pop. Knight, perfect. All right. Maybe time to play a knight soon just to get those on the board because we could make a road and army play at this point in time. I think at the end of the day, black's road building is just too strong. But while that aid is blocked, we could try and sneak it. Ooh. Black gets the wheat for sheep off with orange and can settle on his sheep. Okay, it's dangerous. Black's on the dual eights now, and as we say that, it rolls. Sixes haven't been hitting that much recently. Blue has 13 cards. I guess they can only expand out here now. Gives up three wood and three ore for two brick. Must be looking to build two roads. Oh, decides to connect road. Interesting play to do that early. Oh, we hit the 2. That 2 and 12 have hit a few times for us. Can't complain about that. Orange settles on the wheat. All we need is basically a 6 and a 9 to hit, and that's an instant city, and they just haven't been hitting. Alright, 7 would be nice here. Oh, big. Alright, so I think we're going to take 2 cards off blue. So I think we pop it on here. Take one off blue, and then I'm going to play another knight. I'm going to pop it back on the eight. Do we want to steal from blue here? Yeah, because I think he might have an ore. Oh, wood. That's fine. I can't settle, though, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we're going to have to hold. That's okay, though. I don't mind it. We're only on five cards. Eight hits. Great block back on there again. Black passes. And the 11, okay. Oh, the 8. The 8 versus 6 is so far, I think it just, well, recently anyway, has been nuts. Orange 4 for once is sheep for a wheat. Is it going to pop a dev? Yeah, it pops another dev, okay. 10, okay, that's nice. I kind of want to pop here again, because another knight just sol like solidifies army, but then something like a year of plenty or a mono would be huge. Just or Even a VP. Okay, that'll do. All right, we have army in hand now. I'm going to wait another turn just to play this. Because blue's not... I'm not worried about blue at the moment. And the 11th. This has been no 7s this game. Ooh, black gets the city down. Okay. Now he's looking a little bit scarier. As blue rolls a 7. Now, does he block black or does he block us? Potentially blocks this 6 or maybe the 9. Yeah. Who's he stealing from? Takes from black. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, black is scary, but without that three for one port or that brick port, he's not as dangerous just as yet. I'm still most worried about blue with the two cities, especially if a couple of sixes and threes roll, we could be in trouble. Blue three for ones is wait for a brick and we'll probably extend the road. Oh no, holds. Four rolls. Blue's full of wood right now. So I think we play a knight here. And I think it goes back on the 8. And I think we steal from blue again. Get a wheat. That's nice. And another 4 hits. Uh, I want to pop again here, I think. Uh, do I? I don't know. Do I want to drop the road? I still have the knight in hand. I think I drop the road. And just hold. Because obviously they know that I'm going to go for that connection, which is fine. But I think deving there is unnecessary right now. And as soon as a 6 hits and a 9 hits, which they haven't in so long, we're set. Black has to pass. A 7 would be big. Oh, that 8 block has just been unbelievable this game. Blue 3 for 1s for a brick. Surely extends his road now. Yeah. Looking to connect probably around here. Two roads. See, this is the pro and con of dropping this road, because it clearly alerted Blue to the fact that I'm potentially going to go for this. But at the same time, it forced him to use, you know, gave up three wood for a brick and then dropped two roads. That's seven resources that he had to get rid of just to extend his road by two. As he then three for ones for another brick and plays another road. I'm unsure about that. Five. All we need is a six. Six hits and we have a city because I can three for one the sheep. Come on, six. Those fours have rolled just an insane amount. I can't really do anything here. I can build the road and connect and have seven roads, but it's not really worth it. I'm going to pass. That eight hits again. Black has 12 cards. Blue's blocked his road connect, though, which is good for us. 
black gives up a lot of cards just for a sheep and uh, sorry, a wheat and a brick to get that three for one. The nine, there we go, that's better. Far out, we literally just need a six to roll. Ah, of course, there's the seven. Uh, I think we're getting rid of, what, two wheat and two sheep? Yeah, and does orange rob from us? Or I think he hopefully just stays enamored with blue. Could block the six, actually. That wouldn't be a bad block. Oh, solo blocks the four. I don't know about that. I'm tempted to play my knight. I'm wondering what orange is holding, to be honest. Orange drops a road. All right. Do we play the knight here is the question. I think we roll the dice. Ugh. I swear I said it before. Colonus just loves to do that to me. I'm going to play the knight. I should have done it beforehand. We take army. I'm going to steal from blue. There's a wood and that's another dev, I think. Yeah, pop another dev. VP would be big. Uh, or mono. Oh, okay, VP's good. We're on eight points now. All we need to do is take road and it's game over. So we can stop worrying about the city and we can literally just solely focus on roads. As black rolls a seven, he surely blocks this six. Yep. Probably... Oh, he steals from blue. Interesting. What do we need? Two roads to win? Yeah. Connect here and then one out here and it's game. Ooh, gets a sheep for brick off with with blue and then three for ones for a wood oh, he's looking to extend the road all the way around oh wow big play orange will be mad about that all right we get two sheep oh just something like a 12 to roll oh there's finally the six but of course it's blocked now, what's Orange going to do? Uh, he's been holding these two cards. Surely they're not both VPs. That would be three VPs drawn. Do you reckon he's holding a mono? Or for two wood? I'm going to do it. We could get dirty monoed here. I just wouldn't think he's going to mono the wood. That literally just leaves us a nine for the win. Orange cities. He must have two VPs. All right, come on, colonist. All we need is a nine. Come on. Oh, does anyone have brick? Who's got brick? Black. We blocked the eight. Let's steal from black. Oh, sheep. We got it. Oh, that's so good. Wow. Okay. I think that's GG for the brick. And then we rode up here and we... Send it out here for the win. Oh, nice game. I'm happy with that. GG. Chuck that ranking up. 31 points. That's nice. Ah, 10, 8, 6. Who had the VPs? Yeah, Orange did have two VPs. Wow. Blue ended up finishing last. Let's have a look at these dice stats. Yeah, what a wild... Like, 8 rolled 12 times compared to 6, which rolled 6 times. Look at 4. Crazy. 10 only rolled twice. Uh, res dev card stats, no mono or year of plenties. Uh, the road building got used. Activity stats and then resource stats. Yeah, we had the best production, even the best total resource score. Didn't get robbed once. It was literally only blue and black. Yeah, well, you know, I'm happy with that game. It was a good one, good win to keep on going with. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. And if you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content like this. Cheers, guys.